Sir, very, very, very happy morning to all. Sir, we are doing assessment of various entities. In that assessment of individual and HUF, we have completed. Assessment of, sir, partnership firm, we have completed. We are into the assessment of LLP. Sir, it is the order is partnership firm. First, you should learn. You should be very thorough with the partnership firm. Very important topic for examination. LLP is just an extension of partnership firm. Nothing is there. And after LLP, AOP or BOI is an extension of these two that to a very small area, my dear lovable students. Sir, with regard to LLP, we have to learn the residential status, tax rate and surcharge, assessment of LLP. Mutatis, mutantis, the same of partnership firm. Nothing more, nothing less. A residential status. Such person is resident in India if the control and management of his affairs is situated wholly or partly in India. Same criteria of a partnership firm. Is the control and management wholly or partly in India? Then that LLP is a resident. If the control and management is wholly outside India, the research person is non-resident in India if the control and management of his affairs is situated wholly outside India. So what is the summary? Control and management of LLP. Sir, if the control and management is wholly or partly in India, then resident. Wholly outside India, then non-resident. That's it with regard to the residential status. What is with regard to the tax rate and surcharge? What is the tax rate for partnership firm? 30 percentage. The same tax rate for LLP also, 30 percentage is the tax rate. What is the surcharge up to 1 crore? It is nil. Sir, beyond 1 crore, up to 10 crore or beyond 10 crore, it is 12 percentage. Whether it is partnership firm or LLP, it is 12 percentage, my dear lovable students. Section 167C, liability of LLP is not limited for the purpose of Income Tax Act. The same like partnership. With regard to the partnership, the partners are jointly and severally liable. The same way LLP also, the partners are jointly and severally liable. We are having question number one. I will be solving. This is an eight mark area for examination. Even though in main question, they ask a 14 mark PGBP question. They may ask a separate 8 mark question from partnership firm or LLP for our examination. PQR LLP, a limited liability partnership. Set up a unit in AZZ in the financial year 1920 for production of washing machine. That means 1920, 2021, 21, 22, 22, 23 and 23, 24. Our financial year is the fifth financial year. So, 100 percentage of 10 AA deduction is allowed. The unit fulfill all the conditions of 10 AA of the Income Tax Act. During the financial year 22-23, it has also set up a warehousing facility in a district of Tamil Nadu for storage of agricultural produce. This is specified business under section 35 AD. It fulfill all the conditions of 35 AD. Capital expenditure in respect of warehouse amounting to 75 lakh including cost of land 10 lakh we know that for 35 ad jill land cannot be claimed as deduction so 75 lakhs minus 10 lakh 65 lakhs is the allowable deduction the warehouse become operational with effect from 1st april 2023 and expenditure of 75 lakh was capitalized in the books on that date the relevant details for the financial year 23 24 our financial year is as follows profit of unit located in SZ 40 lakh export sales is 80 lakh domestic sales is 20 lakh that means total 100 lakhs out of total 100 lakh 80 percentage is export and 20 percentage is domestic so 80 percentage of the profit can be claimed as deduction under 10 aa profit from operation of warehousing facility before considering deduction under 35 ad is 1 crore 5 lakh from that excluding jill we can claim deduction we will be getting the net profit if we add the total net profit we will be getting the tax payable under the normal route. Compute income tax including AMT under 115JC, payable under PQR LLP for assessment year 24-25. This is an ICA question, my dear lovable students. Computation of total income and tax liability of PQR LLP for assessment year 24-25 under the regular provisions of the Act. 
First, I am calculating the PGBP. What is the net profit as per P and account? 40 lakh. Let's deduction under 10 AA. Deduction under 10 AA in respect of unit in SEZ. Profit of the unit of SEZ, that profit is equal to 8 lakh, 40 lakh into what is the export turnover in SEZ? 80 lakhs divided by what is the total turnover? 100 lakh. That means basically 80 percentage comes to 32 lakhs. So, from 40 lakhs, we can claim 32 lakhs as 10 AA deduction. So, the business income of AZZ chargeable to tax is 8 lakh. Now, come to the second business activity. Profit from operation of warehousing facilities 1 crore, 5 lakh. Less deduction under 35 AD. Deduction at the rate of 100% of capital expenditure is available under section 35 AD. For assessment year 24-25, in respect of specified business of setting up and operating a warehousing facility for storage of agricultural produce which commands operation on or after 1-4-2009. So, deduction is 60. Total we have spent 75 lakh. In that 10 lakh is for land. So, 65 lakhs is the amount of deduction. So, from 1 crore 5 lakhs, if you reduce 65 lakhs, so the business income will be 40 lakh. Further expenditure incurred wholly and exclusively for the purpose of such specified business shall be allowed as deduction. During the previous year in which he become, he commences operation of its specified business if the expenditure is incurred prior to the commencement of its operation. And amount is capital is in the books of accounts of the SSE on the date of its commencement of operation. That means if you are incurring the expenditure before commencement of business, in the year of commencement, you can claim it as a deduction under section 35 AD. Deduction under 35 AD would, however, not be available on expenditure on acquisition of land. For GIL, no deduction will be applicable. Goodwill, instrument and land. In this case, since the capital expenditure of 65 lakh, that is 75 lakh minus 10 lakh, being expenditure on acquisition of land has been incurred in financial year 22-23, that is last financial year, and capitalized in the books on 1-4-2023, being date when the warehouse become operational, 65 lakhs being 100 percentage of 65 lakhs would qualify for deduction under 35 AD. Up to 1 crore 5 lakhs less 65 lakhs portion are remaining 40 lakhs. 48 lakh, 40 lakhs plus mail or 8 lakhs total income comes to 48 lakhs. This is LLP, so 30 percent tax will be applicable. So, 48 lakhs into 30 percentage comes to 14 lakh 40,000. Total income 1 crore exceed avale, adhanale surcharge pay panam india. So, 14 lakh 40,000 into 104 percentage comes to 14 lakh 97,600. This is the tax payable under the normal route. Now, I am going to calculate the adjusted total income and tax payable under the AMT route. What is the total income under the normal route? 48 lakhs. Add deduction under 10 AA, how much lakh? 32 lakhs. So, total you will get 80 lakhs. This is the income or profit from the EZZ unit, right? Add deduction under 35 AD, 65 lakh, but less depreciation under section 32 because we have to take the total income as per the normal route. Add deduction under section 10 AA, add deduction under section 35 AD as reduced by depreciation under section 32. Up a 65 lakhs from deduction claim pannier ko. Either nama on the 35 AD deduction claim panna me. Nama depreciation a claim pannier na 10 percentage because building ka 10 percentage. Up a 65 lakhs or a 10 percent 6 lakh 50 thousand. So netta 58 lakh 50 thousand na add back panna room. So that just a total income comes to 1 crore 38 lakh 50 thousand my dear lovable students. Alternate minimum tax at the rate of 18.5 percentage. So, 1 crore 38 lakh 50 thousand into 18.5 percentage comes to 25 lakh 62 thousand 250. Is that just a total income exceed 1 crore? Yes, sir. Whether it is partnership firm or LLP, always surcharge at the rate of 12 percentage. So, into 112 percentage comes to, sir, into 104 percentage comes to 29 lakhs 84 thousand 509. Which will be round off to 29 lakh 84,510. So 29 lakhs were the on a normal route of 14 lakhs now were the. So the difference you have to pay the AMT and the difference has to be carried forward as AMT credit for 15 assessment year. Since a regular income tax payable is less than the AMT payable, the adjusted total income shall be deemed to be the total income and tax levyable at 18.5 percentage thereof plus surcharge at 12 percentage says at 4 percent therefore tax liability of 29 lakh 84,510 my dear lovable students. So, AMT credit to be carried forward. 
29,84,510 கட்டி இருப்பீங்க மைனஸ் டாக்ஸ் லைபிலிட்டி அண்டர் த ரெகுலர் ப்ரொவிஷன் ஃபோர்டீன் லேக் நைன்டி செவன் தௌசண்ட் சிக்ஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் திஸ் பேலன்ஸ் ஏஎம்டி கிரெடிட் மை டியர் லவபிள் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் இட் ஹேஸ் டு பி கேரி ஃபார்வர்ட் ஃபார் ஃபிஃப்டீன் அசஸ்மெண்ட் இயர்ஸ் பக்கா ஃபென்டாஸ்டிக் டு த கோர் நத்திங் நியூ வி ஹவ் லேர்ன் இன் திஸ் கொஸ்டின் வாட் எவர் ப்ரொவிஷன்ஸ் வி ஹவ் டன் டில் நவ் வி ஹவ் ஜஸ்ட் சம்மரைஸ் வாட் இஸ் ரிக்வயர்ட் இஸ் you have to sit and do one time properly that's it that eight mark can be fixed for you i'm moving into illustration number 2 pqr llp has a profit of 500 lakhs after charging interest on capital for p amounting to 10 lakh calculated at 15% per annum no no interest on capital maximum 12 percentage as per the agreement but before considering the remuneration to partners what is the maximum admissible amount of remuneration to partners assuming all partners are working partner and remuneration is authorized by the llp instrument that means whatever extra interest you have paid that is over and above 12% it should be in a back so what is the net profit as per p and l account 5 crores 500 lakhs they themselves given 5 crore add interest in excess of 12% so 10 lakh into sir actually they have given 15% so 3% comes to 10 lakhs is the interest correct apa 10 lakhs divided by 15 into 3 So 10 lakhs divided by 15 into 3 comes to 2 lakh rupees you are getting. It is in a sir 2 lakh. So book profit comes to sir 5 crore and 2 lakh. Oh my God. On that you have to classify like this. First 3 lakh and the balance. So 5 crore 2 lakhs minus 3 lakhs porting. 4 crore 99 lakhs you will get. This is the percentage 60 percentage. 4 crore. 99 lakhs into 60 percentage comes to 2 crore 99 lakh 40000 plus you are having first 3 lakh profit adu kuda or 2 lakh how much rupees 70000 appo 2 crore 99 lakh 40000 plus 2 lakh 70000 comes to 3 crore 2 lakh 10000 so from 5 crore 2 lakh you can claim 3 crore 2 lakh 10000 is a maximum permissible remuneration this is only maximum this or actually whatever they have paid whichever is lower in the last question itself i have highlighted i am moving into illustration number 3 mno corporation llp is carrying on two business vis-a-vis textile manufacture and operation of cold chain facility we know that operation of cold chain facility is a specified business under section 35 it gives you the following information for the year ended 31st march net profit as per pnl lakh from textile business 10 lakh 25 thousand from operation of cold chain facility 20 lakh 50 thousand the following items are debited to pnl account my dear lovable students interest on capital payable to partner at 15 percentage on total capital of 100 lakhs so 100 lakhs into 3 percentage should be added back working partner salary 36 lakhs 1 lakh each per month for three partners entire working partner salary you add back then calculate the maximum permissible remuneration as per 40 b depreciation on textile factory building 5 lakhs yes sir depreciation on plant and machinery of textile business 35 lakh key man insurance policy paid 1 lakh 55000 other information eligible depreciation under section 32 for previous year 23 24 r on plant and machinery textile business 27 lakh so we have to add back whatever depreciation debited to pnl account and they themselves given the depreciation as per 32 we have to reduce it on factory building relating to textile business 4 lakh the assessi set up and operating a cold chain facility since 1st april 2022 it incurred capital expenditure towards construction of cold chain facility during the period from 1st june 2020 to 31st march 2022 as under cost of land we have to put it on dustbin because for land jill no 35 ad cost of construction of building and machinery installed on 31st march 2022 50 lakh that can be claim it as a income from firm for the previous year 22 23 assessment year 23 24 is given below income from textile business 12 lakh income from cold chain facility 60 lakh before claiming deduction under 35 ad the firm originally had four partners and one partner retire on 313 2023 we have already discussed this provision whatever net loss it is not loss whatever net loss attributable to the retiring partner should be put it on dustbin as per 78 subsection 1 the partnership agreement authorized payment of salary and interest on capital which are debited to pn account you are required to compute the total income of the firm for assessment year 24 25 ignore amt under 115 gsc they said that don't calculate amt only normal provision is required 
Just give me the details of the question. Computation of total income of MNO Corporation LLP for assessment year 24-25. Profits and gains of business or profession. What is the net profit as per PNL? Total net profit. What do you say? 1 is 10 lakh 25,000 for first business and 20 lakh 50,000 for second business. Total are 30 lakh. Add items debited to PNL account but not allowable as deduction or to be considered separately. If these items has to be debited to PNL account, not allowed while calculating PGBP. Number one, interest on capital payable to partner in excess of 12 percentage. What is the total capital? 100 lakhs. 100 lakhs into 3 percent is what extra because up to 12 percent is allowed. So, 3 lakh should be added back. Working partner salary, we have to consider separately because we are going to calculate working partner salary if that is debited to PNL account, should be enough back. Hence, 36 lakhs we are adding back. Depreciation as per books, we have to add back because depreciation as per section 32, they have specifically given. So, 5 lakhs plus 35 lakhs relating to textile business should be added back. Key man insurance premium paid, allowable as deduction. Since it is incurred wholly and exclusively for the purpose of business, this is CBDT circular is there. For example, in AM classes, AM is the key man. If AM classes is paying key man insurance policy in the name of AM, it is a responsibility of the AM classes to take care of AM. So that can be paid and which is wholly and exclusively for the purpose of business that can be debited to PNL account. So nil, nothing should be added back. So 79 lakh should be added back. So on that 30 lakh 75,000, if you add back 79 lakh, comes to 1 crore 9 lakh 75,000. Less expenditure. We have added back depreciation. We have to reduce the depreciation under section 32. So 27 lakhs plus 4 lakh, 31 lakh we have to reduce. Normal only. Nothing more, nothing less. We will get the book profit. 78 lakh 75,000. This 78 lakh 75,000 can be classified into two categories. First 3 lakh and the balance. So 78 lakh 75,000 minus 3 lakhs comes to 75 lakh 75,000. This into ethanol percentage. 60 percentage comes to 45 lakh 45,000 plus here 1 2 lakh 70,000. So 2 lakh 45 lakh 45,000 plus 2 lakh 70,000 comes to 48 lakh 15,000 is the maximum remuneration as per 40B. But you have to check how much they have actually paid, correct? So book profit is 78 lakh 75,000. A remuneration to working partner subject to limit in 40B. Sir, you have to check 2 lakh 70,000 and 45 lakh 45,000, total 48 lakh 15,000. But as per the partnership, they paid only 36 lakhs. That's what we have added back. Whichever is lower can only be claim it as a deduction. So, my dear lovable students, from 78 lakh 75,000 book profit, if you reduce 36 lakhs, then 42 lakh 75,000 is the income under the head PGBB. Now, you can set off loss. They said that last year there is a brought forward business loss that can be set off against PGBP. What is the loss details they have given? Income from cold chain. Cold chain 60 lakhs. So we have to work out the income. Come on. Computation of loss of specified business of setting up and operating a cold chain facility for previous year 22-23. Relevant to assessment year 23-24 last year. What is the income from cold chain facility before deduction under 35 AD? 40 lakhs. They themselves given. Correct. What is the deduction under 35 AD? Deduction except Jill you can claim. Correct. Specified business of setting up and operating a cold chain facility would be eligible for deduction at ethanol percentage. 100 percentage for the capital expenditure for assessment year 23-24. Expenditure of capital nature would however not include any expenditure incurred on acquisition of land. For Jill, you cannot claim deduction. Therefore, in this case, only cost of ethanol lakh, 50 lakh on construction of building and machinery installed would qualify for deduction under NAD. 35 AD, assuming that such expenditure has been capitalized in the books on 1 for 2022, being the date of commencement of operation, my dear lovable students. Since the same was incurred prior to commencement of business, only 50 lakhs can we claim it as a deduction. So, what is the income from cold chain business last year? 40 lakh. But what is the deduction? 50 lakh. So, what is the loss? 10 lakh. Out of this loss, one partner has retired. So, his partner's share we have to calculate. So, loss to be carried forward as per 73A, read with 78 subsection 1. The net, the net loss of the retiring partner should be ignored. So, tell me what is the loss? 10 lakh. 
only three fourth of the people are going to continue. That means out of four partner, one partner is leaving. So NSR ten lakhs into three fourth comes to seven lakh fifty thousand can only be carry forward and set off. Section seventy eight subsection one does not permit carry forward of loss pertaining to share of retired or any partner. Deceased partner. Therefore, in this case, since one of the four partner has retired, one of the four partner one fourth. So one fourth we have to put it on. That's been his share of loss. That is two lakh fifty thousand, being one fourth of ten lakh for the previous year twenty two twenty three. Assessment year twenty three twenty four cannot be carry forward to the previous year twenty three twenty four. Whereas loss of seven lakh fifty thousand of the specified business can be set off against the income of the other business. As per the facts of the case, income from specified business is more than seven lakh fifty thousand, and loss can be set off. Okay. Up out of last year, my dear lovable students, even though we are having an income of forty lakhs last year, but we have incurred with a loss of how much? Ten lakh. Out of that ten lakh, two lakh fifty thousand put it on. That's been the remaining. How much we got? Seven lakh fifty thousand we got. And the seven lakh fifty thousand current year income from cold chain facility is how much? Current year how much? Income from the head profits and gains of business or profession forty two lakh seventy five thousand. Read it once again to get a flow. EMNO Corporation LLP is carrying on carrying on two businesses: waste textile manufacture and operation of cold chain facility. Okay. It gives you the following information for the hundred thirty first March net profit as per P and L. From textile business current year ten lakh twenty five thousand. From operation of cold chain facility twenty lakh fifty thousand. These both are current year income. We have to add it. Following item interest on capital payable in excess of twelve percentage we have to plus so three percentage we have to add we have already added working capital salary thirty six lakhs we have to add it first then we have to calculate as per forty b then we have to remove depreciation on textile building this is book depreciation we should add back and we have to provide depreciation as per income tax act depreciation on plant and machinery textile business thirty five lakhs so we have to add forty lakhs then we have to remove the depreciation as per the income tax act this is what they have given. Key man insurance policy as per CBDT circular, it is allowed. No need to add it back. Fine. Till now, no problem. Other information: eligible depreciation thirty two. You can reduce twenty seven lakhs plus how much lakh four lakhs. This amount you can reduce because you have added back the depreciation debited to P and L. Assess is set up and operating a cold chain facility since first April two thousand twenty two. That means last year. We know that our financial year is twenty three twenty four, but they have given financial year twenty two twenty three. Okay, last year itself. Why they are driving the question like that is to set off 78 subsection one. It incurred capital expenditure towards construction of cold chain facility during the period first April 2020 to 31st March 2022 as as follows: cost of land 30 lakhs put it on desk bin because for jill no deduction. Cost of construction of building and machinery installed till 31st March 2022 rupees 50 lakhs so 50 lakhs can be claimed as a deduction. Income of the firm for previous year 22-23 assessment year 23-24. That is last year is given below. Income from textile business is how much lakh? Twelve lakhs. So we were having last year also two business. One is twelve lakh rupees is the income from textile business. They have not given last year depreciation. They have not given last year add back. Nothing they have given. They have just said that twelve lakhs. Income from cold chain facility sixty lakh before claiming deduction under thirty five AD. So if that is sixty lakh income from cold chain business less what is the deduction? Fifty lakh. So last year it should come to profit of ten lakh. Then if profit comes, there is no relevance for this part because seventy eight varave varad. So we will read or change this as forty lakhs. Then only we'll be able to do the sum in a correct way. Income from cold chain facility forty lakhs na kinge. So forty lakhs na forty lakhs k yellow lakhs fifty lakhs deduction. So ten lakhs you have to enter forward carry forward because this ten lakhs and twelve lakhs cannot be set off. Because loss from specified business cannot be set off against profit from specified, not specified business. Liya. So this ten lakhs can be pa carry forward pani da ono. In the twelve lakhs ka endorsement tax kati ono. Adilu naalu partner lo oru partner retire right arama. Naalu partner lo oru partner retire right arna. Yappa retire right arna the thirty one three correcta endil retire right ar. In case namma financial year lo three months retire right arna. And the moon mass, and the our our particular loss plus moon mass or income knock off money to be no carry forward drastic panda. That's already partnership form le na soli kudte na. All right. So now that seven lakh fifty thousand income from the business, Ilya, because in the total forty two lakh seventy five thousand kulla, yar orda profit turke na thirty five eighty orda profit turke. 
தேர்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஏரியோட ப்ராஃபிட் வந்து நமக்கு வந்து டுவெண்ட்டி லேக் ஃபிஃப்டி தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் கரண்ட் இயரில் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க கோல்டு செயின் ஃபெசிலிட்டி ஆனால் செவன் லேக் ஃபிஃப்டி தௌசண்ட் தான் கேரி ஃபோர்ட் ஆஃப் லாஸ் இருக்கு அப்போ டுவெண்ட்டி லேக் செவன்டி ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட்க்கு எகேன்ஸ்டா கண்டிப்பாக நம்ம என்ன பண்ண டுவெண்ட்டி லேக் ஃபிஃப்டி தௌசண்ட்க்கு எகேன்ஸ்டா கண்டிப்பாக செவன் லேக் ஃபிஃப்டி தௌசண்ட் செட் ஆஃப் பண்ணிக்கலாம் ஸோ லெஸ் செட் ஆஃப் ஆஃப் ப்ராட் ஃபார்வர்ட் லாஸ் யூ ஷுட் நாட் திங்க் தட் ஒய் ஐ எம் செட்டிங் ஆஃப் a loss from specified business against non specified business no this profit attributable to both specified and non specified business so set off of brought forward loss of specified business 750000 so the total income comes to 35,25,000 is the total income my dear lovable students so nothing new nothing 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 new we have studied the partnership firm and llp are mutatis mutandis the same once you properly study this part partnership firm then llp is a very easy part when you studied that both then aop or boi is an another small extension of these two which you will be feeling so much comfortable my dear lovable students sit and solve the sums by your own that's what most required my dear lovable students once you sit and done the sums the level of clarity will be very level so in this slot that is assessment of partnership firm llp and aop boi we are done with the most important topic for examination partnership firm and llp and aop or boi is a small game it is nothing big nothing large my dear lovable students so study that do it those question my dear lovable students then listen to the lecture that is aop or boi that is a very small part 30 to 40 minutes it may take with this we can say that we are through with the assessment of sir partnership firm and llp comes to an end